Hey everyone, we're Cody and Christina and in this week's build video we have a little something different going on. We are actually getting our truck painted. The team behind Bullet Liner is going to be bedlining our entire truck and painting it our dream color to transform it from a white box to a proper expedition rig. Alrighty guys, so we got the truck inside the shop, pulled off the front bumper, that was a process because the bumper weighs about 350 pounds. So we got the, the naked front end right now and then we got the paint booth back here. So truck's about 12 feet tall fits inside the paint booth it's a little long and then as I go into the paint booth we have Troy masking off all the edges and such up on the roof the guys at Valley Truck Specialties in San Bernardino California were the team to take on the job and the father-son duo of Roy and Troy were absolute perfectionists when it came to this project we really wanted the bed liner on the truck so that if we're going through tight trails since the truck is so big it wouldn't brush up on the box and scratch anything. The bed liner will hold up really well. Since the truck is much larger than the paint booth, we actually had to split the job into two. The first being the box, followed by turning the truck around and doing the cab. They sanded and scuffed the box to get perfect adherence for the bolt liner, used multiple kinds of masking tapes and tape lines to get perfect lines and seals around everything, like our solar panel so they wouldn't get damaged. It was an extremely time-consuming task and very eye-opening to watch at the same time. We're uh, pretty close to spraying. You can see the truck's all tarped off behind me. These guys have been crushing it. It's been a lot of work because this thing's so custom and there's seams and gaps and stuff everywhere. And here goes the first coat of bolt liner. The shop recommended we do a black base of bolt liner itself, followed by the color of choice on top of that. Roy has been in the automotive marine paint world for a very long time, so I completely trusted his judgment. One and a half years later and the paint job on the truck is still looking as good as new. Pretty wild seeing the ugly white box slowly yep. getting transformed into our dream vision. We never thought this day would come, but here we are. Well, I don't know how well you can see behind us, but the truck, well, the box is officially freaking black. The back, the truck is still bagged, of course, because they have to turn the truck around, but it's so insane seeing them actually doing it. I feel like we haven't felt like it's actually real until this point but it's starting to get real. The bed liner dries instantly, they said, and uh, they're just gonna prepare the rest of it so that we could paint the truck tan now. And with the bolt liner done, it was time for Roy to mix up the color paint we wanted, desert tan. It was mine and Chrissy's dream to have our van painted tan, but that never came to fruition. So we knew we had to make it happen on the truck, and here we are. The bolt liner dries extremely quick, so Roy was able to get to work spraying the box with a pressure pot shortly after. Chrissy and I were freaking out at this point. Now that the main part of the box is done, they ripped off the masking covering our back door, masked off the main portion of the box which was just painted, and got ready to paint the rear door. We did it this way so that when the rear door is down, the metal beams are painted tan. So we had to have the door down while we painted the main portion of the box. Now it's time to mask off everything that was just painted on the box and get ready to spray the back door. Once everything was dry, I excitedly pulled the truck out and it looked absolutely insane to see it in daylight. Our dream was coming alive. Yeah. And now we flip the truck around to paint. Troy got to work removing the grill, 
masking off the headlights, and the extremely tedious task of prepping door handles, getting the doors ready, the fenders, everything, and making sure it was perfectly sealed off so no liner or paint would get inside the truck. They also had to wrap the entire box in plastic since that is now painted and needs to be protected from the bolt liner which will be sprayed onto the cab. And there goes Troy adhering the bolt liner. The truck looks so good in black that I almost wanted to keep it that way. Joking aside, it did look really good, but boy, that would have been very hot. And to finish it all off, Roy got to work spraying the rest of the truck in tan. The moment is near and we could not believe how good it all looked. The team estimated we added maybe 150 pounds of bed liner to the truck, so in actuality it really wasn't that heavy and will really protect the truck from branches and scrape. It was a very late night for everyone to get the truck done before the weekend. Our entry door and cargo doors were sprayed tan, our chassis boxes were bullet lined black, and everything including the grill, front bumper, and steps had to be reinstalled to the truck. Stay tuned to the end of the video where we will show you how the entire exterior of the truck came together, but here's a little sneak peek for now. And next up we will be jumping back over to the build site where we will be getting back to DIY projects. Well, a very exciting package just showed up. Uh, we're stoked to be finally installing our entry stairs into the truck. So we're going to have a set that's below the main entry door. Thank you to Torque Lift International for sending us these stairs. They're the glow step stairs. I'm really excited to be able to have some glow at night. Since it's about a four foot drop down to the floor, it'll be really nice to be able to see the stairs at night. So let's open up the box, even though it's somewhat already open. We haven't seen anything yet, so let's dig in. So here are the step mounting plates. We know where we want to put these. All right, so we found the center of our door, and then we also found the center of the mounting plate for the steps. We know this is exactly where it's gonna go uh, based off of center of the plate, center of the door. The only issue we're having is we have these large T35 bolts that have a nut on the backside holding our I-beams together. So we're gonna need to loosen those up, and then we're actually going to put a hole in the mounting plate for these bolts so that it has a clean finished look to it. So let's do that. Maybe you should go underneath and like push forward. I think this is what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line up the center, the centers of the plate with the center of the door. We're gonna mark these holes. We're gonna drill them. Once these have some bolts sitting in them, we're gonna then mark this hole from the back side onto here. Cause I think that'll be the most accurate way to get this hole on this bracket. All right, so with uh, all six of our holes marked with the Sharpie, uh, we're gonna pop the clamps off, take the bracket off, and then we're gonna drill all of our holes. Since we're doing this as a universal bumper installation because this isn't a specific install, uh, we're gonna be using the bolts going straight through these holes. We're gonna be using a 3 16th drill bit for our first set of pilot holes, and then bumping that up to 7 16 to accommodate the bolts. This is Boom. where you'll see that. Beautiful. Awesome.
But uh, anyway, we got the first set of uh, pilot holes drilled. Now I'm going to be stepping up to the 7 16ths, which will be the final size to accommodate the bolts we'll be using to install the step plate. We drilled our hole for the T35 that helps secure the box to the I-beams underneath. Uh, we're going to put the step plate up. Um, we're going to be using the hex bolts that are provided with washer, lock washer, and then nut on the back side. And the only other thing you're going to need is these reinforcement plates. They go on the two perimeter bolts on both sides, like so. And let's get to it. Chrissy was on screwdriver duty while I went under the truck and fastened the nuts underneath it. It really worked out well tying the step bracket into the side of the box like this. With the step support ready to go, we slid the pin and trailer pin together, pulled the steps out and got to testing it. Rose also had to jump in on the action and she pretty quickly figured out how to get up and down the steps. What is up everybody? New week here on the build. Super exciting because we are partnering with Front Runner Outfitters to do a bunch of super sick exterior upgrades on the truck. We got our roof rack installed at their LA location, which was awesome to see and get it done so we could have a bunch of storage on the roof of the truck. So we're gonna have boxes, we're gonna have water jugs, we're gonna have gas cans, and we're gonna have lights mounted on that roof rack, as well as a cool little deck to stand on. It was really fun going to the Front Runner warehouse in LA. The team over there was extremely professional and they are very cool guys. They quickly got to work prepping the roof rails to receive the roof rack. It was a fairly quick process and we could not wait to set up the rack and get all of our Front Runner Outfitters storage solutions dialed on the rack. And then back here in the rear of the truck, we're actually gonna be mounting up a front runner easy out two meter awning. And that will provide shade for the rear deck right here, as well as shade for when our rear door is open and we're hanging out inside and through bolt it straight through the back of the truck here. This is all super strong stuff and it's gonna be a perfect mounting location for that awning. So now that we have the awning opened up, what the plan is, is we're actually going to open up the leg mounts and there's a pretty deep channel in here and that's a nice wide flat spot on the rear of the awning. So we're gonna take, I have a handful of some stainless steel bolts, some black button head bolts from various front runner kits as well. And we're actually going to drill through this channel and that is what is gonna be holding the awning up to our wall. So we're gonna drill all of our holes out first in here because we know we have the space to mount it and then we'll figure out how to get the holes up on the truck. Okay. It worked out super well simply drilling the five holes we wanted to mount the awning to our box. The bolts sit in the channel underneath the awning legs very nicely. We started off drilling out one hole, bolting the awning to set hole, leveling the awning out and attaching the other far side in the same manner. With both exterior holes drilled, it was time to do the centermost holes and be done. And lastly, the other project we had sourced out on the truck. We wanted a very secure way to mount our under chassis storage boxes. We got linked up with a local welder in Yucca Valley, California that does excellent work and he came up with a mixture of angle and tube steel to have the boxes sit in. This way we could store heavy gear in the boxes and not have to worry about weight being supported properly. Once everything was welded up, we got to work using a Rust-Oleum primer followed by black paint to seal it all off. And lastly, we got to slide our store-bought buyer's boxes into their new home. See you guys next week.